welcome back to my channel. First things first, thank you guys so much for half a million subscribers. I can't even explain how overwhelmed with like support and love I felt over the past couple of days. It means so much to me that so many of you like are interested in what I'm doing. It just inspires me and makes me want to work harder for you guys. So I'm not going to drag on too much because I feel like everyone does that. But honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you. But on to today's video. Today I created this kind of simple summer makeup look and it's a get ready with me so you can just hear me chat about shit while I'm getting ready and creating this for you guys and if you're interested in what products I use I've listed them all down below so if you like the look of this makeup look then definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's just go ahead and get started shall we all right all right Hello, hello, we are ready to begin. Um, I've already done my eyebrows just because they take a long time, but obviously I'll tell you what I use for them and I've also prepped my eyes too. But for my eyebrows at the moment, I've been using the Benefit Precise Brow Pencil in the shade three through the front and then the Maybelline Micro Brow Pencil in soft brown towards the ends. And then, to set it all in place, I use the Makeup Forever Brow Gel in the shade 25, and that basically just lightens up some of the hairs, because I use kind of a darker pencil, and that way I'm kind of getting a mix of all the tones that are going on in my hair. We are going to do the eyes first, but I am just going to apply my skincare first, so I've got a little bit of time to set in, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Hydrogenous, what is this, it's like their Intense Hydrating cream serum. I'm just in love with this at the moment. I think my skin's looking quite good at the moment if I do say so myself. And I've been using that new L'Oreal kind of skincare as I showed you in like my Instagram stories on my Snapchat the other day. So if you haven't already defo, check it out. I'm loving it at the moment. So I'm just going to let that kind of sink into my skin. To begin, I'm going to use... <sighs> This custom buxom eyeshadow palette. You can buy the six insert, or there might be an even smaller one as well, and you can kind of custom pick the colours that you put in. But for the eyes today, I really wanted to do something quite minimal, matte, and quite basic, because I wanted to do a bright lip, and I did kind of want to do like a winged look, just because I feel like I haven't done one in ages, and I want to mix up the summer looks that I'm doing, and it's so easy for me to just do like a really bronze rounded eye and a nude lip, or like glossy, colourful lip. So I am trying to mix it up, but don't worry, those tutorials will probably still come i'm just trying to you know mix it up so i'm going to start off with this shade here i can't remember off the top of my head but i have definitely listed it down below because i did some research afterwards well i am planning to do the research afterwards to find out the actual shade so it's just like a nice soft warm brown and we're just gonna buff that into the crease okay so recently just thought i'd zoom you in a bit so you can see what i'm doing but I've been loving, I always say this, and I think I've like found the reason why, but loving Michael Finch and Shani Grimmond on their like vlogs at the moment and their Snapchats, and I was watching their Bali vlogs earlier, and you know, I keep saying, I keep saying thank you, or like thank you because of them. Now he, now Michael's saying, what does he say? He says, not a problem, and all of this, and I can't stop saying it to myself. Like I... Um, it's just funny and do you know what I think it is? One, I used to live in Australia so I feel like I kind of connect on that level if that makes sense like I feel like it's I can get away with saying it because I did used to have an Australian accent all the time I talk like this all the time when I was from the age of one to four <laughs> yeah I lived in Australia so I feel like the way that they say things I like I feel like I wish that was still the way that I spoke so I always catch on to what they're saying really quickly. But it also just made me think about the weird shit that me and my friends say. Like, if I really think about it. And we get told it a lot by, like, other groups of people that the stuff that we talk about is, like, no one understands it. And we forget that no one understands it. And I was trying to think of, like, the phrases that me and my friends say. Like, we, all, we instead of no, it's always no or something like that. So let me know in the comments down below if there's any weird shit that you and your friends say together that like only you and your friends get and like you don't even know why the fuck you say it but you just do. But I've got my friends saying thank you with a Q and they don't even know who they are. <laughs> it's just so catchy and it makes so much sense. It's literally thank you. Yay, so we're just starting with that one transition colour. But I'm going to take this gorgeous burnt orange colour here. I'm literally obsessed with this colour, especially underneath the eyes, which is obviously what I will do next. 
I'm just going to place that and drag it kind of further across the lid as well. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go for something simple, pimple, but still kind of like easy to do for the summer and not feel like you're wearing loads on your face or anything so it's not going to feel very heavy. I definitely want the skin to be bronzy. I always want bronzy skin in summer. Embrace that dew. Oh my god! Thank you guys so, so much much i can't believe i didn't address this as the first thing in the video i probably will in the intro but this is now i'm just talking about it thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers i'm going out for dinner tonight with my mum and my dad to celebrate a little and i had um, a few of my friends over last night just to celebrate as well but i'm honestly just in awe that's half a million of you that have clicked that subscribe button and it's just so bizarre like that's a lot of people watching me chat shit and blend eyeshadow and I don't know just like you guys confide in me a lot like with that my Q&A that I just did loads of you really loved that and I'm so pleased with the response that I got from that because I didn't want it to come across like I thought I knew best like I'm gonna give you guys advice and my advice is the only advice I just thought it was like a quite a cute idea in terms of just being able to connect with you guys on a more personal level so thank you guys so much for the love the support just everything over the past couple of days and just the whole time I've been here like what was that but yeah thank you guys okay next i'm gonna take my concealer and kind of create a or like carve out the crease just because the color we're gonna put on top is like a matte cream color and i really want it to show up and just look as bold as i want it to i think and i find just making sure you've got a really clear base to do so is the best so I'm not like going drastic with this, it's not like a super cut crease look, but let's... I never do my videos like this in the sense that I'm doing it both all at the same time. I'm literally just winging what I'm doing because I haven't practiced, but I think it's because it's such a simple look I'm not too worried, I don't feel like I've got to practice. Yay! Okay, so to set that all in place, I'm going to take this matte cream eyeshadow. Again, I will leave the link down below, but it's from Buxom. And just press that on the top. It's pretty much the same colour as the concealer, which is great. We're just going to make sure that it's all set in place. Yay! Like that. I always say yay. Like, I'm so... like pleased with myself that it's actually worth. I'm gonna go back in with that gorgeous sparkly burnt orange color and just kind of emphasize the transition. So I do that by just kind of going like in circular motions just over that line, like so. I'm getting a bit sick of the weather at the moment. I don't know about anyone else, but where I live, one day it's absolutely pissing it down and the next it's like boiling hot. So I don't know how to dress. Do I need a jacket? Because the weather is literally changing out of nowhere, so I don't really know what to do. And my baby hairs at the moment are also astronomically out of control. And if anyone, I've got like some good products to keep them down, but like I kind of just want them to go. But I know they're like broken bits of hair, so the only cure is to grow your hair. So maybe I have to dye it brown. Anyways, I'm gonna take a white because the next shadow we're gonna use is a little bit of black, but I'm gonna use that after I do eyeliner because I am gonna do a wing for this look. So I'm just gonna, I need to kind of look, just go across. Kind of aiming towards the tail of the brow as per usual. <laughs> Yay, okay, and before I do the winged eyeliner, I'm gonna just highlight my inner corner, and this has become literally like my favorite high inner corner highlight to do so. It's this icy white shimmery shadow here. Again, I would have listed it down below, so definitely make sure to check it out there because I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's popping as you're gonna find out. In my inner corner. My inner corner is the one place I just like can never, I never like it. I feel like I can never highlight my inner corner as better as somebody else can. Like whenever I get my makeup done, they can always do it really nicely and I just can't, I don't know what it is. But it literally is so popping and bright, I'm obsessed. But yes, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my winged liner and for that I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner and I'll be back because I literally can't even talk when I'm doing my eyeliner. I'm concentrating so hard, but I'm gonna keep it quite small. I say that now, I am gonna try and keep it quite small and then I'll be back. Okay, because I rarely do winged eyeliner anymore, I'm always so quite 
I'm always quite quick with my makeup and I love a rounded eye. That, I forgot how good that Epic Ink eyeliner is. I tested this out when we went to Los Angeles with NYX back at the beginning of the year and I feel like it's only really just come out if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I feel like for ages I felt like I couldn't use it because it hadn't come out. That makes doing winged eyeliner so easy. I'm obsessed. It's like completely matte black, super black, really precise nib. Love it. Now for mascara, I'm going to take the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I've been loving this at the moment, but you guys know I will be applying false eyelashes. But this mascara is so good. I've honestly been loving it at the moment and for lashes i've been loving these at the moment as well these are from lily galici in the style opulence if you've been wanting to try lily lashes i know they are like a little bit expensive for a lash but they honestly last so long and they do some really really gorgeous like natural styles as well as like sorry i'm just picking off the glue don't mind me as well as like their dramatic lash they have some really gorgeous ones that literally look like lash extensions almost i've worn these before and someone asked me where i got my lashes done because i'd st obviously <laughs> stuck them down quite well but um because they just looked so natural so i really have been loving these and these ones like i said yeah the style opulence i've been loving the lush ones as well so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of glee that's another thing anything that ends in ye i've been getting like glee thank you Halle. that used to be it's such a big thing me and my friend said it was always hello Halle. Halle. god everyone must have found us so fucking annoying while the lashes are drying, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna apply my primer, and my primer today is an old fave. It's the Tube Faced Hangover X. So let's just give that a couple of couple of pumps. I am gonna be applying a liquid illuminator to my skin as well to add a bit of color. So let's just let that sink in and pop the lashes on. I think obviously the glue is just drying, but I just think they look so pretty and natural for like every day. But yes, as I said, it's time for a liquid illuminator and we're going to use the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in pure gold and just stripe that on our face where we kind of just applied the primer. I'm going to use the same brush as a primer because why not, hon? Ooh. Look at that glow. Ah. Right, so for foundation today, I've been having, as you guys probably seen if you follow me on my socials, probably more like my Snapchat or Twitter, if anything, but having a massive makeup clear out and literally decluttered so much stuff. So I'm almost refinding old favorites. So I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation in the shade 42 and just do a couple of pumps onto the skin and apply it with a damp sponge because it is lightweight and dewy but it almost like applies quite thick which is annoying but I find the finish isn't super full so I always like to use a sponge. Oh I've got such an annoying spot and it always comes just as I've got like events and stuff coming up. Got an exciting weekend this weekend so tomorrow we there is a big NYX party and we're celebrating the launch of a new, some new products coming out and all that good stuff. And then on Saturday, I've got a big kind of day with Benefit. So I did it before with Benefit, which is like a bottomless brunch and just hanging out, chilling out with them all. And yeah, it should be fun. I love those kind of things and seeing everyone. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super lightweight on the skin. Even though it applies really thick, I don't know why it does that. But anyway, for concealer, I'm gonna use the same one that I used to prime my eyes with, which actually I don't think I said, is the NARS Canal, Canal uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes. I mean, this is gonna add a bit of coverage and help brighten. Let's get dabbing. Alright, so before we go ahead and set that all in place with powder, I don't know if this is, I've left the link to this down below I think, but I don't know if it's available to buy like in all places yet, but this is the new Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. So from Benefit, they've come up with a cream contour stick, part of their Hoola range, and I'm so excited. Oh my god, I used this the other day and it's so creamy and so easy to blend it gives such a nice natural color as well i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that all in add some warmth and dimension gives such a pretty like 
glow to the skin. I love cream products on the skin. Okay, now I am going to set everything in place with powder, but I don't want to be too, too heavy with it, just because, ooh, like I said, I've been, I, with the summer look, I do like the appearance of dewier skin, but I feel like just underneath the eyes, it is really important to set, and for me especially, like above my top lip as well, they're just the places that I find I get really hot, and that my makeup comes off the quickest, and, all, and I set my nose as well. So once that's kind of all sufficiently set, I'm going to go back in with the eyes. Oh my god, I think I always rave about this one. The Sunset Highliner from Mark Beauty. Oh my god, my absolute favourite in the wall shine at the moment. I just think, hold on, I can't talk. And we're back. I just think, because uh, as someone that personally doesn't like really dark colours in their wall shine, it's such a gorgeous substitute. Because I do like the appearance of something in my wall shine. I think it gives a lot more of like... A seductive look but that one is just so complimentary on me personally with green eyes as well I think it would look absolutely stunning to fair any eye color I think that's such a stunning alternative for like a dark brown it is called sunset so definitely check it out but as I was saying I'm gonna go back in with the big fluffy brush and again that really deep war deep warm brown like burnt orange color and like buff out my lower lash line I kind of want it to be quite smoked out and smoky so if you didn't get that I want it to look smoky just buff that along the lower lash line like so and then apply bottom lash mascara same one again and we can continue on with the face so these are the eyes done super minimal literally only a few shades on the lid and yeah for me that was quite like a quick easy eye look to do but it looks really put together I would say. Okay, so to finish off the face, I'm gonna ooh, lightly bronze it with the NYX No Filter Powder in the shade Golden. These are literally like affordable dupes of the Mineralize Skin Finish from MAC, and I actually prefer, they have a much more extensive color range in this, and it's a lot more like olivey and warm, which I really appreciate. These are actually just meant to be face powders, but I love to use darker ones as bronzers, a bit more of an affordable alternative. Then, like I said, going through my makeup clutter, I found this old gem. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz, and I, sorry, I'm just looking for the brush that I would use there. I used to be obsessed with this. It gives such a gorgeous golden glow to the skin. I always go in with a shimmery bronzer these days. Normally it's MAC Global Glow, but I just wanted to mix it up and use this because it's a lot more of a golden colour and I love it. And another Becca product because I thought it really tied in with the colours of the eyeshadow. This is the blusher in Tiger Lily. It is their like sh luminous blush. I thought totally appropriate for the look. Oh my god, skin is looking so pretty. And to finish off, I'm going to highlight my skin with the sleek cleopatra's kiss highlighting palette and taking initially the slightly bronzier shade but then to make it pop a little bit extra on the same brush taking the lighter shade and then spraying my brush with the cover effects illuminating setting spray which i will use on my face but trust because it's such a light mist, it's not like a, like here's my Fix Plus, like that's such a, I can't believe I wasted that, come back. But like that was such a like, tss, tss, whereas this was like a, tss, so it just dampens it slightly. Blends like a dream. Yay, so that is the skin done, and now I'm just going to take the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Foiled again, which is like a, corally colour because we are going to go in with like a corally lip. I don't want to go like too bright orange or too, too bright pink. I feel like they do that a lot so I've gone in the middle. And I feel like this goes with the eyeshadow as well. And then for the lip I'm, I'm going to go in with the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in Jacquard. I think this is. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just going to go back in and highlight my Cupid's bow. And then use the Cover Effects setting spray to set it all in place. This actually has 
gold particles in it, by the way. They don't, I don't know if they like advertise that, but I got told that it does from the people that represent them. So you actually are going to be illuminated. But yes, I can take the cat ears off now. But that is the finished look. So obviously, as you guys saw, this is the end result and the finished makeup looks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and like the look of this makeup. Definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more summer looks and, and more just like me getting ready and chatting with you guys type videos. Definitely make sure to check out the products down below if you're interested in any of them and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!